Two Orchids by German artist Isa Genskin has been a special guest at the museum for the past three years. It's on loan from a private collection and will soon be taken down. It's been such a treat for me seeing it next to the Belusky building, and I'll be sad to say goodbye to it. On one level, this monumental sculpture should be seen as a testament to the sheer beauty of these exotic blooms. I also think the way Genskin just blows up the orchids to such gargantuan proportions is a nod to the contested place of nature in the midst of the urban built environment. Some time ago, a favorite chestnut tree stood in the same spot next to the museum. So for me, it seems oddly fitting that this sculpture took its place years after the tree fell. Two Orchids was shipped here on special semi-trailers outfitted with supportive cradles to secure the work during transport. In this time-lapse video, we were able to capture the complex choreography of installing such a big artwork using rigging and a crane and many people. This work represents more than just a beautiful thing, however. For me, it also connects to Genskin's critique of consumerism. For years, these exceptional plants have been shipped around the world to adorn a whole host of places, from corporate office lobbies to the shelves of big box retail stores. Now, with the decline of travel and trade due to the coronavirus pandemic, I wonder if the Phalaenopsis might end up being a nostalgic symbol for the era of globalism that made the exchange of goods between disparate countries seem easy, even invisible. Thanks for taking a look with me, and please explore our other virtual walkthroughs available on our YouTube channel.